Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're getting very close to the release date of this game right here, EAFC 24. And up until now, we've only heard rumors about heroes and icons that are going to be dropping in the new game. Well, today we found them, guys. We're going to take a look at some leaked ratings that are basically official ratings for a bunch of the brand new icons and heroes. We're going to be talking about official ratings, stats on the card, dynamic images, and even skill moves and weak foot on some of these brand new heroes and icons. And there's a lot of them to go through today. There's some big names we're going to see. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up, subscribe. If you're new, you know what to do there. Let's get into the icons first because there are some big name icons coming to FC24. And the first one is a newly retired FIFA fan favorite, Franck Ribéry and men. Five star, five star right off the bat for Ribery's card. Now, remember, one of the biggest changes with FC24 is these icons are not having base, middle, or prime versions. It's only one version of the card to start out at the beginning of FC24. After that, EA will be upgrading them with promo cards throughout the rest of the year, like we saw a lot of in FIFA 23. But for this Ribery card, he's starting off super meta. He's going to be very, very expensive on the market for sure. 88 rated with stats honestly that are super similar to his end of an era SBC that was dropped this card was so overpowered when it was first released in FIFA 23 I think this icon Ribery is going to be on that same level because the stats are almost comparable to that card 89 pace 85 shooting 85 passing I mean that's almost exactly what he had on that end of an era card in FIFA 23 and he's still five star five star that's going to be an absolutely insane card. He's probably going to be over a million coins to start off the year. Now, it even gets better because EA are really boosting these icons like crazy. We have our first women's icon to talk about today, a USA legend and 93 rated icon in FC24, Mia Hamm, also 5 star, 5 star. Guys, this might be one of the best in stats icons in the entire game a lot of people are joking and saying that this is comparable to like r9 there's been jokes about calling this card ham 9 right 92 pace 93 shooting 92 dribbling and five star skills and a five star weak foot what an absolute crazy card now the interesting thing about this is this is technically like the only the base version right because all the icons are only getting one version so if they're giving me a ham this crazy of a card at the beginning of the game and how expensive this card i can only imagine how expensive it's going to be for the upgrades later on throughout the year i would have to imagine that we would not see a new version of this mia ham card for probably months and months down the line since it's starting at such a high rating and such an insane stat compilation on the card that's something to kind of take into consideration frank ribery is 88 rated maybe by the time we get to like winter wild cards or maybe team of the year we have a team of the year version of ribery whereas maybe for mia ham we're waiting until like foot birthday to get a new and upgraded version of this card who knows but again one thing i want to point out as we uncover a new icon here zico another five star five star player is with all of these cards, they're they're kind of subject to change because the way that it works with these icon relationships with EA, it seems like a lot of things are not actually nailed down and concrete until like right before. And these leaks are all very recent. They're within the past couple of, of weeks, which makes me think that they are very accurate. And this is the same account. A lot of these leaks are coming from Foot Scoreboard on Twitter. This is the same guy that was posting all of the top 50 ratings. And so far, everything we've seen has been spot on so we haven't had a lot of news from ea yet i'm sure we're going to get a lot of news here very soon about that and if anything changes we'll of course see it but this is the zico card that has been posted five star third the five star five star icons are everywhere man this is the third one that we've seen now 89 pace 92 shooting 91 passing 91 dribbling and i'm assuming gonna be very very fast agile and kind of like i don't know maybe butra gueno type but with you know five star skills and the five star weak foot that's the type of player that i'm thinking of except with better passing right butra gueno can't pass in fifa um and that's that's a great card that is an absolutely insane card 91 rated to go on top of that he's gonna be absolutely nuts now moving on we have a couple other women's icons but before we get to those we've got another five-star weak foot player here at least bobby charlton 92 rated guys 
EA are going crazy with these icon boosts. There is not one L of any of the icons that we've looked at so far. All of these stats look amazing. 90 pace, 91 shooting, 91 dribbling. These are types of cards that like we're using in like, I don't know, March of FIFA, like this last year. Some of the cards that we got then had 90 pace, 90 dribbling, and 91 uh, shooting as well. This is an insane card that's going to drop in the game from the beginning. Deserved icon 100%. Um, also, I will note for a lot of these icons, um, it is stated that the images should be the official ones as well. I don't know if we mentioned that already, uh, but the images that we have seen here on these cards with these leaks are actually what the cards are supposed to be looking like in FC24 with the actual face shots of these icons themselves. That's an insane deserved icon card. A lot of people have been wondering when was Bobby Charlton getting an icon card and this is his card right here. Now we have a couple more to look at and this is a set of three women's icons. Mia Hamm's not the only one. We have Prince, Abili, and Smith. Um, positions are not known. That's one of the things you'll see for a lot of these cards is the positions are not known. But look at this card. A Billy uh, French icon with four-star skills, four-star weak foot, Hullet Gang besides the physical with 90 passing and 89 dribbling and shooting. That's a really cracked out card. Smith from England, 88 pace, 90 shooting, 89 dribble. Another great attacker card there. And Prince, I mean, all solid cards. Not insane, but all very, very solid cards there. And all have a four-star weak foot at least with only one having a three-star skill move instead of four. And also, the very last card that's been confirmed is Sawa. And man, this card looks really insane as well. 90 passing, 90 dribbling, along with some high 80 stats in pace and shooting. For a lot of people asking who this is, uh, this is a picture of uh, her and Messi, both with the Ballon d'Or awards. And also it is leaked that this card is four star skills, four star weak foot. So a very usable card there. Guys, all of these icons look really, really insane. I know it's, again, another interesting aspect where we have some of the women's cards being added in here as well, but all of these cards look really insane and I'm super excited to see them added into this game. Now, one question you may ask is, Hey, where's our, where, are we getting a Guero? Are we getting any other icons apart from these? As of right now, that's a star-studded, very large icon class of new icons coming into the game. All of our older icons like Zidane, like R9, don't worry. Those are still in the game. As long as EA doesn't have to change or drop any of their agreements for rights or contracts, if you will, with any of these icons that they already have in FIFA, I think all of them should be going forward into FC24 as well. Again, just say goodbye to the times of the dynamic images on the icons because it's going to all be different this year in FC24 from the start, at least, with one version only of each of these icons. Now, that is a lot about icons. One thing we are a little sad about, though, is Arhen Robbins not getting an icon card or a hero card. It was just confirmed. He was on one of those lists that was tweeted out a long time ago. People were really hoping, just like Ribery, that he would either be an icon or a hero. And it was unfortunately the case. Now it's known that he is not going to be an EAFC 24, at least from the start. So that is a bit of a disappointment. Now, let's move on to the heroes because there are a lot of heroes guys and this was just tweeted a couple of days ago by foot scoreboard these are all the base hero versions confirmed dynamic images stats and ratings for all of the new heroes and just like we said with the icons we're expecting all of the old heroes to be coming back as well. We're talking about Lucio. We're talking about Ginola. We're talking about Cordoba. All of those we're expecting to see back in EAFC 24. These are only the newer additions. And wow, absolutely crazy stats for a lot of these cards, but also a lot of room to upgrade as well as we go throughout the year. Just like the icons are going to be getting promo cards throughout the entire year FC 24. We're going to look at all these really quick, but a couple that I want to highlight straight off the bat. Carlos Tevez love the dynamic image like guys this is his card in fc24 this is the card design as well i love this card design so much more than the base hero design from last year like look at this right here with this lucio card compared to this like come on man what a step up for a base hero version and if you're like nate wasn't there a higher rated version of Teles that was already released like what's up with this one being 88 rated yes there is a higher rated version of Teles and all these other brand new heroes that are coming into the game but these cards are not going to be in eafc 24 
from the start of the game. They're not going to be out until I think it's like December, right? It's just like the World Cup heroes that we saw last year. Those were delayed. Those were a bit later on. Those were our first upgraded heroes for the year. That is the same thing with these heroes that we have right here, the Champions League heroes. Those are later on. So these are what we're going to have in the game from the start of the year. I mean, Tevez, of course, looks insane. Only drawback for Tevez is, is he's got a three-star weak foot, guys. Four-star skill moves and three-star weak foot, but 85 pace, 89 shooting, really cracked-looking card there. And Premier League links. That is very, very nice for the Tevez card. Uh, another one that I love is Company. And the crazy thing about Company is... Like, so many of his old FIFA cards had, like, 65 pace or 71 pace. And EA have gone ahead and given him 80 pace. That's, like, an insane pace boost for a company card. They wanted to make him very, very meta, and he looks the part. I'm super excited to use this guy. He's going to be expensive for sure. I mean, compare his stats. He's not that far off of a Lucio-type card. And look how much Lucio was at the beginning of last year. I mean, he was expensive, guys. He was five, 600,000 coins. Um, heroes were a little bit uh, easier to pack than icons at the earlier stages. Last year, they were a bit more packable. So that made them a little bit cheaper. But still, I can't imagine that this company card would be too much less at least two to three weeks into the game, then like four to 500,000 coins because he is going to be insane. He's also like six foot five, so he's going to be huge. And uh, that's going to be an insane defender in the early stages of FC24. We've got Viali in here as well. Great stats on his card. He's got the Serie A links. One card I'm super excited to try out is Wesley Schneider, guys. I knew that EA had potential with this card. I was just worried that they wouldn't give him a good upgrade, but they have gone and given him a fantastic upgrade, 90 passing and 81 pace. I was worried about the pace. Great card there. Lee Zarazu looks cracked. Futre has an insane amount of pace and dribbling. He's got to have five-star skills. He could be super insane. Kessler looks really good. Litmanen and uh, Rui Costa both going from icons to heroes. They look solid. Not insane, but solid. Um, probably more useful with the hero links um, than the icon links, to be completely honest. Berbatov, that's one that a lot of people will be interested in. He, he looks good. Not that insane. McManaman looks good. And then, of course, how can we not talk about Ramirez, guys? We have to talk about this card right here. A FIFA legend in his own right. The one thing I'm a little curious about is... What are his skill move and weak foot going to be on this card? EA been generous with the other cards with nice four star, five star, and a lot of different parts. Are they going to make him 3-3 three, three, or is he going to be like 4-3 three or 3-4? Three, I can't imagine him being four star, four star, I hope, but I feel like a 3-3 three, three might be in order, especially because that would give EA plenty of room to upgrade based off of his base hero. He's kind of low rated though, 86 rated. There's plenty of room to upgrade there, but of course he's going to be very expensive because people will want to try him out for the FIFA legend that he was. Kanu, the Nigerian Premier League card. A lot of Premier League in here, guys. Berbatov, McManaman, Ramirez, Kanu, uh, Risa, uh, Rosicki, Tevez, company. So many new Premier League cards. Even some of the women's Premier League cards. Alex Scott being added in here. Julie, um, Risa, as we said. Rosicki is Prem. Bomb Pastor looks like a very cracked out card as well. Maybe not as much as a left back, but as a left mid. 87 pace with good stats all around. And Demarcus Beasley. This is just a quick shout for Demarcus Beasley, the lone USA um, hero here. Maybe a little bit of Alawaren vibes. He's only pace and just, you know, mid stats elsewhere. But that's how Alawaren looked last year. He got one boosted upgraded card for the World Cup version. And then all of a sudden, he was like the most insane card ever. So watch out for that Demarcus Beasley. There might be a place for him in FC24 as well. But guys, those are all of the leaked ratings for icons and heroes. And we're calling them technically leaked because EA haven't said much about icons and heroes. I expect to hear a lot about them soon. But guys, with the ratings we've had released already and how close we are to the game, I think these are very accurate and I wouldn't be surprised if they're exactly accurate and spot on. And that's why I brought you guys this video today because FT24 is coming very soon. And I'm excited for a lot of these heroes and icons. I'm excited to trade with them. I'm excited to use them. And I'm most excited to try to pack them from icon and hero upgrade packs as soon as EA's drop those during the beginning of FC24. So let me know down in the comments who you're the most excited for after seeing all these ratings, and I'll catch you guys in a new video here very soon. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant, guys. If you did enjoy the video, like, you know, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. But I'll see you guys in a video soon. Peace out.